case of the hood of the Grand Cherokee, it's meant to do two things. One is to cool the vehicle. There's a lot more power it's dealing with than the exit vehicle, um, but also to stabilize it at high speed. I mean, this actually is functional. If you were to put your hand here while the vehicle's idling, you could hear the, you could feel the heat coming out of the engine. And at high speed, it's kind of column of air, according to our aero. Uh, it, it relieves the lift on the front end, makes the car more stable to drive at high speed. If we living in Germany, it would be great. <laughs> and, but also looks cool and gives the vehicle a cool presence. Other things like that, or the brake ducting. The brake ducting is all fashioned into the lower fascia. We try to find a way to, to also increase downforce by making the lip uh, longer. All that again is functional, but also makes the vehicle look, look quite cool. I know that you know one of the things people are looking for now in cars are the LED lights. Yeah. And here you've built them in kind of a straight line, and over on the 300 they kind of make a horse shape, a horseshoe shape. Yes. Um, so is, is there a strategy to that, or what a little bit? It's becoming you know as we develop this, fairly new to us. I know some other auto automakers have had that, so we're trying to find a, a signature look for the vehicle. Yeah, so this, this straight line will be something that you'll see in future Jeeps. Uh, it's also a great DRL, a daylight um, uh, uh, daylight running lamp, and it gives it a signature look. Also, it says that this car is special. This car is a cut above um, the others. I love the wheels. How big are those? Those are uh, huge. Look at yeah, those things, man. They're 20 inch wheels, but they're, they're, they're forgings. All SRT wheels are forgings, which means they can be very strong and we can take the weight out. They're actually very light, even though they look quite big. Um, what I also like about the Grand Cherokee is we really went um, to town on the width. The, the tires are quite wide, and the wheels are designed to fit the 15 inch rotor. It's the biggest rotor we've ever put on a passenger car. Six and, uh, piston, six, you said. Six yeah. piston uh, caliper as well. And these lifts are beautifully integrated, again, to manage the larger tire, but also to to kind of symbolize its performance. And when you benchmark this, are you going against the Porsche, the Cayenne? What, yeah. What's kind of the car that, you know, you've well, obviously, your sights? I mean, we, we kind of, I mean, there's always been the G-Wagon and things like that. And we, you know, I think the last generation SRT really brought a lot of attention to the performance SUV. So yes, absolutely. Uh, the X5 is in our sights, the AMG uh, M-Class, and a little bit the HSC from Range Rover. The, but I think our vehicle offers a value that they just simply can't match. All right, Rob, we've got four cars here. And I have to ask you, which one's your baby, or is it the Viper? <laughs> I mean, that's not here, obviously. Oh, I like which, which the SRTs. You know what I like about the SRTs? I know the team at SRT. It's a bunch of, of very passionate engineers. They're all enthusiasts themselves. So these are vehicles, if, if I could have, afford it, I'd have one of each, because they're all, they kind of match your mood. You know, there's times when I need an SUV, I need the performance, the winter capability of, of the Grand Cherokee. Other times I love the retro feel of the Challenger. And there's times I want to go very quietly and not be noticed as much, which is the 300. It's very Q-ship like. But my favorite is still the Charger. I have one at home. Now I'm driving around, and it just has enough of the uh, extroverted DNA in it that I like a lot.